to the dungeon again. I'm busy working on the uh, finishing touches to this Philips Filetta. I uh, forget what it's called, got a special name, uh, some kind of a Greek goddess name or something, I can't remember. Anyway, it's from 1964, 65, something like that. But if you look at the top, on the right side, you see it's got a bit more of a, a mahogany color, a bit of a dark patch there, which the camera somehow makes look worse than it is. It's actually because of this tiger striping. There's flaming in the wood that makes it dark there. That's actually a natural feature of the wood, so it's not that I haven't cleaned there. But look at this side. This is 55 years of uh, polishing. And the polish just continues to build up, and I suspect that even over here, if I can get the, just the right angle, that still is a load of polish. So I wanted to show you how I've been getting this stuff off, because you actually have to get fairly aggressive getting that stuff off. So what I have, let me show you what I have over here. That's a solution of actually good old washing soap, the kind you put in your washing machine, the liquid type and scotch bright so i have a scotch bright pad but this is kind of a, a worn out scotch bright it's not fresh so it's not so aggressive but it certainly is going to get in here and remove that old harsh all those layers those 55 years of polish of wax which eventually just doesn't shine up anymore. It's just too degraded. So what I'm doing is just working it in with the, the soap. Now I tried, uh, I also tried using uh, alcohol, which worked fine. But I got a bit nervous about using the alcohol in this thing because it's, it's, a, it's a solvent, you know, and I didn't really want to attack the finish. And I thought, well, if I'm going to get in there and I might have to refinish the, the, the clear coat, uh, a single clear coat on top anyway, then I may as well kind of use the scotch bright and, uh, you know, get the, get the goop off. And if it does rough up the surface, well, that's fine, because I need to pre-rough up the surface anyway before I put on my layer of clear coat. So I'm kind of testing it out and see how, where it goes. But to me, this looks like a pretty good solution. But excuse the pun, the solution of the water. To getting the goop off of the top. And then what I want to do very soon, while you're watching, is I'm going to get my old white t-shirt that I that finally had the end of its days that I now use as my, one of my cloths up here. And then I'm going to wipe this up. And then you'll see just how dirty this stuff really is so i'll choose a relatively clean patch of t-shirt and then i'm going to just pick that up and look at that hey. how's that that's what i got off of there so i reckon that's a winner uh, as i wipe it away it definitely is more even and clean and really not bad when it comes to uh, the finish. Not bad. You can see it's okay. It's, it's dull again. It's not super bright and shiny. But it looks pretty good. By the way, I'm listening to some Chinese radio station in the background here on my, one of my other radios. Uh, it's Saba. Wildbard 100. I think it's a 100. Gorgeous old radio. Yeah. Anyway, so there we go. Sounds like an American station. It's not. It's Chinese propaganda. I'm busy getting being converted into a communist. Not. So now I'm going to just take it, I'll just wet the point of this rag here and give it a nice wipe there. So with the, I mean, that comes out just gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Me likey. Huh? So a clear coat would, I, would end up looking like that. And that's just pretty. A little bit of an amber, mahogany. 
colour. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So that's what I wanted to show you. I'm going to continue doing the sides and uh, this wooden trim down the front here. This is a gorgeous little radio. It's actually become one of my favourites to look at. It's just so pretty. With the power on, real nice. The panel lights up beautifully. I can turn it on. There you go. Look at that. That's gorgeous, man. You like it? Well, thanks for watching. See you around.